Continuing with clipping masks, let's use some new drawing tools to create some irregular custom shapes. Instead of using our ready-mades, we're going to go right next to it to our brushes. There's a paintbrush and there's a blob brush and they do two very different things. A paintbrush is going to make a single line or path. If you do just a little bit What you have is a segment, just a line that starts at one point, continues and ends at another. What you don't have is an enclosed whole shape. It's not closed. If you want to fill that right now, it's going to try to fill sort of the um, convex spaces, but it is not actually connected. And that's not going to work for clipping paths, and this, any time, is just, uh, it's really bad form. It's bad illustrator form. Now you can, with a single line, create an enclosed shape that would work for a path. You can draw. And when you get close to your starting point, you can hold return. That's not right. You can hold... Huh. Option. <laughs> you can hold Option and you get the little circle and that tells you that you're ready to enclose it. So you're holding Option and then you just let go of the mouse. This now is an enclosed shape that looks like some kind of uh, upside down gingerbread man. So I can fill that with color and that's now truly closed, not just kind of sort of. The other tool is the blob brush. And to use the blob brush, I'm going to go way bigger. Oops, wrong thing. Okay, to use the blob brush, I'm going to uh, need a bigger brush. And so I'm going to increase the stroke size. If I paint now and then select, let's zoom in, it actually has created not just a single path, but it's created a, um, a path that is going all the way around. So another way to understand it is to flip it so there's no fill. The blob I brush once this way, but it defines it in terms of the outer edge of whatever I brushed. Whereas in comparison, go back to the regular paintbrush, and if I also make that something that's big, let's try it way bigger. I'm using my brackets right now, my bracket on the keys. So this is the regular paintbrush, and I swoop up and select, and see how the, the blue line is just bisecting it right down the middle? That's because the path is just a little segment. It's not creating an outer edge. It is entirely dependent on the point size. Whereas this, after I've established it initially, has nothing to do at the point size. If I were adding stroke now, it would be an additional line on the outside of it. Okay, now with the blob brush, you can do, get closer, with the blob brush, you can do uh, something really big in one swoop. Let's use our brackets on the keyboard. They're above your return key. I'm going to go right bracket to make it bigger, 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 bigger brush. So I can do one swoop around and I have a shape that I can use for my clipping mask. But also with the blob brush, bigger, 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 bigger with brackets. If I do a little stroke and then I keep on going, it 
As long as I haven't switched tools, the blob brush knows that each stroke I make, I want to add to, to the same shape. So even though I lifted my mouse and brushed many times, I still have one big shape. Okay, so let's use this thing that looks like I've eviscerated something as a clipping path. File, please. I'll go get my images, grab the clouds, and make it bigger. Might make this smaller. And I need to make sure my clipping shape is in front. Select both object, clipping mask, make. Clipping group, looking good. Grab my link file, holding shift so I don't distort my image. Moving it around. Throw a drop shadow on that, starting to look good. Give it a try.